supposed to be the scene where Marty's trying to get back to the future. The streets of Hill Valley are getting slammed with repeated lightning strikes. All you have to do here is dodge the lightning. That's all. Why are you dodging lightning anyway? Isn't Marty trying to get the lightning to hit the DeLorean to generate the 1.21 gigawatts and send them back to 1985? Isn't that the whole fucking idea of the movie? Anyway, that's Back to the Future NES. No special ending. Nothing. Fuck that music. Well, now that we've seen the whole game, we can conclude that it has... Uh, some relation to the movie, but it doesn't have any of the familiar music cues. And don't tell me it was some kind of licensing issue, like they were able to license the movie, but not the music that belongs with that movie that we all recognize. No Back to the Future theme, no power of love, no back in time, no Johnny Be Good. Well, fuck this! Next came Back to the Future 2 and 3. This one has the Back in Time song or at least part of it. And the intro scenes follow the movie quite well. But then the game starts, and you see all these dinosaurs, snails, and runaway trash cans. What the hell happened here? It couldn't possibly be any more different from the film. In this timeline, when Biff brought the Sports Almanac to 1955, it somehow created a world full of piranha plants, killer clouds, and evil Martys. I like how it says Back to the Future on the bottom of the screen, just to remind you what you're playing. Otherwise, you'd forget it has anything to do with Back to the Future. When I first reviewed this game, I was being a shithead. I never explained how it's played. And that's where things get really interesting. You're supposed to collect 30 items and bring them all back to their rightful places and times. You find the items behind locked doors. To unlock the doors, you need to find the keys, which are found by killing random enemies. But the keys don't sit still. They fly off the screen the second they appear. Usually, you're not expecting the key, so you might not catch it. Once the key's gone, it doesn't return. Not unless you exit the level and come back. Even when you get a key, most of the doors don't let you in. I don't know the reason for this, but when you do find the right door, you'll get an item. But you don't get it right